This is a little tutorial to describe how to use the circular motion command. We're somewhat familiar now with the joint and linear motion commands. The circular command is a little more detailed or complex. So let's um, look at this little program I've created here. So far it's the um, part I've created for this to kind of demonstrate the circle command. It's, a, you know, it's just a cylinder with a circular uh, surface to it. Um, I've created two lines here. One is the home, which is just in the position it's in right now, and I've labeled it home. The next is the center, and if we step to the next step here, we'll see that it just goes down and touches the center of this uh, face of the cylinder. The next step we're going to do is actually jump out to the perimeter of this circle by going in the negative y and creating a point. That is going to be the start of our arc. Our arc path is going to follow the perimeter, or near the perimeter, of this cylinder face and end up with a half of a circle, which is an arc. The circular command is a little bit of a misnomer. It's not really a circle. It only can create an arc. And what defines that arc are three points. Um, remember, any three points on a given arc make that arc, um, arc um, defined. Um, they all three have to have the same radius point and they'll create the radius and the length of the arc and that's what's being done here. The tricky point is this start of the arc is just a normal joint move. It's the next position we create which is the midpoint that really starts the circle command. So let's move to from let's call this zero position this 90, 180, 270, 360 or zero back to zero. So let's go to the 90 degree position by jumping in the positive x and y. So let's go positive x and positive y. And to get a better view of whether we're really on top of this or right in the 90 degree position, let's look at the view that looks directly overhead. And that's not bad. We're, we're pretty much there. Let's bring it to the center zoom in a bit and let's create a new point somehow or another grab two points I'll go ahead and jump up and you know these this simulator is a little finicky I think um, well it's just something to be able to go to the next screen edit command and let me delete that extra um, I'm gonna confirm it yes so now we have our point four, which is the 90 degree position. Let's go ahead and label that even, just so we um, n better describe how um, we're defining this. Let's call this the 90 or mid, mid point. Let's go back up and define this guy as our start. Jump back down. This guy really doesn't, um, it's not a joint. In order to create a, a circular move or an arc, we're gonna have to change this and come over and select choice F4 and choose circular. Notice when we do that, it actually creates another position, which is our final or third position of our arc. Um, we'll have to jog to that position and touch it up. That's how you actually define the end of an arc. It's actually, it automatically throws that point in there, but it's undefined at this point. And we actually move, and let's move in the minus x to get back to our center point. and into the positive y. Um, these aren't gonna be perf perfect arcs, but um, you get the point. And then let's touch up that point. We have to come down and actually bump out away from this guy and touch up. Again, it's a little finicky, so let me try and touch up again.
a little buggy here. Make sure you hit the shift and touch up. And that's now our end of our arc, um, or end of the, th the third of three points to define that arc. Um, let's actually come over and define that guy. Enter, end point. Hmm, forget my typing here. So now let's go ahead and play this guy and see what it actually looks like. And let's actually go into the view and go to program details and display position and triads. You notice now we have point one and two are directly over each other, so they appear to be. You notice point one is our home position, point two is the center of our circle, point three is the outer, it's just getting to the outer perimeter. Point four is where we came out and defined our midpoint and changed it to a circular command. And it automatically created this end point over here, um, point five, and we, um, but didn't define it. So we had to jog over and actually touch up that point. Let's go ahead and play this guy and see what it looks like when it actually goes into the motion path. We go back home first, go jump out to the outer perimeter, and then you notice it does the arc move. So that's our f half of our circle. Um, it, if you want to create a full circle with this, um, you're going to actually have to create a few more motion steps. And the way you do that is you actually jump down and create a new point. Point six, you notice, is at the same point as, um, as, as your end point from your original circle. Um, but we're going to actually come up and redefine that guy because we really have to come out and jump out at the 270 degree point, right? So let's go ahead and um, jump over to, I guess I didn't even have to teach that point right there. What I should have done was actually jump to 270 first, but I'll continue on with this tutorial nonetheless. So let's um, jog the robot in the minus X. It's a little fast, isn't it? So let's jump the speed down. It's 100%. Shift key, shift key jumps you in larger increments um, when choosing motion, if you notice. it's. It, this one it's it's um, user configurable, but this one jumps just between three steps of 150 and five. If I shut off the shift, I can actually um, increase and decrease in, in five percent increments. So I'm gonna go 20 percent, um, jump back into the um, um, minus y. Change my view again so I can get an overhead view. And I notice I've got to go into the positive x. And let's t teach that point. So now we're at point six. Point six is actually going to be, again, our circle command. Um, and what we're going to do is actually just change this guy from a joint, get out of shift, from a joint to a circle circle command, um, I go to choice, cursor down to circular, hit enter. It creates a new point. That new point um, is actually definable by you actually just pressing in your start point, which is point three. Hit enter. Notice it even takes in the label that you put in there of start or the description um, that you put in there of start. Let's go ahead and play this guy now um, and see how the motion actually translates. Full circle. Um, so that's a circular command. Um, and you can replay the, the second half of this, especially to, to determine how to actually finish out the circle. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me.